local agriculture in particular is beneficial to any city, regardless of the size. We learned during COVID that our supply chains are a little iffy sometimes and that they depend on a lot of things working right. And if any of those things are not working right, people tend to try to lean on the local producers. And I think that's, that's great, but I think we need to support those producers all the time. We're hoping that when people join the CSA here, they'll participate in the CSA and they'll enjoy it and they'll have a good experience. And then hopefully that'll encourage them to move to another CSA in the area and support the local farms that are here. I'm Terry Coster. I'm the agriculture lead here at the Organic Farming Research Education and Outreach Center here in Morgantown, West Virginia. We are located on Route 705 between the Mile Ground Roundabout and the Suncrest Town Center. My job is to facilitate research and I run a 40-person CSA here in the Market Garden. So the big thing that makes us different is the involvement of students. We have WVU students that work here as student workers year-round. And then we also have an internship program which has been funded through a private donor, Linda Butler. That allows five or six students to work here full-time during the summer and they learn how to do all of the stuff in the garden. Between freshman and sophomore year, I was looking for another job uh, on campus, and I applied to a couple, and uh, one of the jobs was to work at uh, the, one of the farms in Morgantown, and I thought it'd be like, hey, funny, it wouldn't be cool if I worked at a farm, and I ended up getting an interview, and got the job, and I've been here since, and I, I love it. I think it's really fun. Everyone I work with is really cool. I really enjoy being out here and harvesting everything just because I'm with people I like doing it with and it's always a pretty good time. And I guess just giving the vegetables to the CSA uh, members because they're always like really interested, especially if we're growing something like kohlrabi and they're like, what is this sort of weird looking plant and what do I do with it? And that's, that's pretty fun. So CSA stands for Community Supported Agriculture and that basically means that at the beginning of the season, so March or late February, we have people sign up and they pay ahead of time and that gives us the ability to buy seeds and supplies and stuff that we need for the CSA. Throughout the course of the summer, they'll receive a box every week on Wednesday afternoons that includes just whatever is ripe and ready on the farm at that time. We pretty much exclusively advertise through e-news, so that means that typically you have to be a WVU employee to hear about it. Uh, we've also had a, people, a few people learn about the CSA through word of mouth, so somebody's neighbor or their friend. We take signups in February or early March. A lot of students are not gonna go on to be farmers, um, and that's fine. Uh, some actually have, and that's, I think that's amazing, and I love that. The soft skills that they're learning, like being persistent, not giving up when things are difficult, like if it's really hot and they're sweaty and we have a lot more work to do and it's not lunchtime yet. I love that it's different every day. Every day you come in and there's a different challenge and there's a different activity to do. Skills like that, I think, can be translated to any career. I didn't really have any experience with agriculture, and now I feel like I have a, a, a much better grasp on agriculture. I mean, I know more about like irrigation and stuff, but I think just being actually on the ground and doing it is definitely the biggest thing you can sort of, sort of learn. 